360. So let's move on now from um, Carlos Alberto Torres. Now we're moving straight to boxing. Uh, Cecilia and the news. Okay, the big news is um, Larry Kondayo, Nigeria's Larry Kondayo, you know, welterweight, African welterweight champion. You know, he's got a new management now and he's hoping uh, this situation is going to lead to him, you know, getting um, better fights, you know, because the welterweight division is filled uh, with top, top contenders. I mean, yeah, Manny Pacquiao, Kel Brook, Amir Khan, Danny Garcia. So it's been very tough for him getting those big fights. He's hoping the latest move is made now by joining uh, the NGM yeah, management. Yeah. yeah, will actually open doors for him so he can have the opportunity of taking on the very best in the welterweight division. Mm, that's the way it is, of course. Even, uh, come the statement coming from Team MGN says, I said, the signing of Larry Kodaya is one that pleases the team. He's a quality boxer. The name on his record at such an early stage of his career speaks volumes, and they're looking forward to an exciting new chapter mm. for him. He's 34, yeah. and he's gone on beating most of his fights. But he's just African Boxing Union mm, welterweight champion. champion. Yeah. So Esther wants to get into that big fight, that kind of a fight that's going to put him on that global mark and that's the reason for this uh, signing with MGN, that's one of the global biggest brands you can think of when it comes to boxing promotion and all that, but mm. wishing all the best is definitely going to have an exciting chapter, you know, signing with MGN and we just yeah. can't wait to see him, you know getting those big fights and those big names That's we talk it. about in the welterweight division which is really really saturated right now uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. big yes. fights <laughs> exactly getting those big fights and come very tough for but hopefully cecilia this move you know you know brings in you know those opportunities so he can get to face the absolute best and like i said cecilia is 11 and oh you know 11 fights yeah. still not a lot but then he's won everything and it shows he is a very good boxer he just needs the opportunity he needs to get a chance to face yeah. uh these uh big dogs i mean austin okonokba and our correspondent uh, caught up with um larry akundaya in london let's listen to uh his plans uh, for the future very much from you what, what's going on um career has been on the hold for a bit uh, but luckily I just got signed by one of the best in the world if not the number one in the world right now the MGM so the career looks that it look um, good again mm. so Larry after the African Union fights um, we're waiting would this bring us more fights that features the natural definitely definitely um, we're boxing the boxing the whole boxing in the um, business thing you need to have the right people with the money and power and the MGM they've got everything Larry the last time I spoke to you in Nigeria you've got so much passion to come back home develop boxing because you know there's so much talent there um, that project still in the works um, thing works but I'm with the right people right now and um, if I have to do it off my own back you know I need to definitely need to give back to the community and probably I might have to, I might be the one that will show how it meant to be done properly before the government and the private companies gets involved, you know, but what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to um, gain right now is my own people, my support, I mean my Nigerian people support over here, I based in 90% of my, my fan are British. What is the Nigerian doing? We only run around the big people that made it, that have got their own name. We always follow the people that have made it, that have got a name for themselves. But how, how are we going to help people? How are we going to help the grassroots? So that's, that's my big thing right now, waiting. And I've got a few people that's coming, that's coming through now that are trying to get my, I mean, get the, the farm base like Tito and the CEO. You know, we have all these people coming through now saying, you know what, we're going to support our own. And I think that's the way forward. Let's talk what you think going on with Tyson Fury. It's so depressing having some, a great fighter like Tyson Fury after we going through all this depression and everything. And a lot of people trying to slag him off. Or, you know, I'm in the same field as him and I know what it's like when you have so much pressure and everyone trying to talk you down. And he's going through the um, depression. And people think he's is a joke, but really and truly, I know how he feels, and I feel sorry for him, to be honest. Thank you so much, Larry, for speaking to me, and uh, all the best in your career. Thank you, thank you for thank you for coming all the way to England again. Thank you, this man always always pushing the Nigerian talent out there. You know, um, big thank you to you.